You often hear the expression race car with number plates, and that term probably applies to this car better than any other on the road. Porsche's 911 GT2 RS. This car has a Nürburgring lap record to its name, and our very own Mark Webber had a hand in its development. Question is, what's it like pushing 700 horsepower around on a public road? Earlier versions of the GT2 RS might have been known as the Widowmaker, but this latest generation model carries a title that is much more indisputable. It is the fastest 911 ever built. For 2018, the GT2 uses a twin turbo flat six that makes an incredible 515 kilowatts, enabling a 0 to 100 time of only 2.8 seconds. It is matched by track specific features including a carbon rear wing and rose joint suspension along with new tech including active suspension mounts and rear wheel steering. Now driveline and suspension aside, the GT2 RS lives up to its racing pedigree even with the fit out of the cabin. I mean you can use six point harnesses if you wish to. There's a titanium roll cage in the back, even a fire extinguisher on the floor. In terms of the way that this thing is geared for the road, well let me tell you this, it has no dedicated sports button. That's because the car is on and ready to attack all the time. Yes, the GT2 RS is unflinching and unapologetically stiff. The ride can be unforgiving at times, but like all 911s, it still manages to balance performance and comfort in a way that makes it an enjoyable road driving experience. The standout feature is that it's loud. The exhaust is loud, you get quite a bit of reverb through the cabin, uh, particularly when you're at St Australian highway speed limits, and the road noise is just ever present. But those features aside, I've actually been quite surprised. It's not as highly strung as what I would have anticipated. The engine, for example, will happily play its docile setting and just push for the highest gear possible. For example, you can be sitting at 60 kilometres an hour in seventh gear. In terms of the transmission, well, it doesn't really bind up or lurch at low speed, and that's something you can't say for a lot of cars of this ilk. Ultimately, the GT2 RS needs a racetrack to really begin to exploit its performance, and Wakefield Park in Goulburn is a perfect starting point. Now, put all those features together on a track, and the GT2 RS is just so harmonious and so well strung together. It is incredible just the level of cultivation and driver feel that you get with this car. The gearbox changes gears when you ask it to. The engine gives you every bit of power exactly when you need it. And under full thrust, it is mega fast, like scary fast. But it's the way that this car strings everything together, like you come into a corner and you, you almost, it's almost like you feel understeer or oversteer before it even happens. That's just how communicative the chassis is and how alive this car is at speed. But the truth is, this generation of the GT2 RS has a wider breadth of performance than any before it. Race car with number plates? I couldn't think of a better expression if I tried. <laughs>